What's up guys? Just Norris here. Today is Sunday. It's our Q&A. Let me take off my hat so you can see my face. Um, I was just watching yesterday's video of my squats and I realized I didn't even put in my last set. Um, 5.45 or 10. So that will be at the end of this video. So please watch that. Uh, it was a PR for me so I'm super excited about it. Um, so yeah. Hop into these questions. Um, sorry, I'm gonna be going to the computer screen and back for you guys, so hopefully you don't mind. All right. So Lucas Dimitrik. I'm gonna assume he's from Czech or Russia or something. That's kind of what his name looks like. Um, yes. Is there any money in powerlifting? And that's a good question. If there is. I haven't seen it, or maybe I have. Um, there's very little money in powerlifting. There are certain meets out there that do offer uh, cash prizes, um, but usually they're only like a thousand dollars or something like that, and it costs money to get there. So um, there's really not a lot of money into it. Uh, if you get a sponsorship, usually they're just offering supplements, and some people think, oh, well, that's awesome, but it doesn't help you out all that much um, like if I was gonna accept a sponsorship myself or if I was gonna do you know anything special with the company I would expect to get paid something a uh, percentage of sales you know maybe that I make um, from you know having a link on my page or something that's something I would hope to be offered um, but right now I haven't really had much uh, going on so that's that. Um, Adam Mark Phillips asks, what kind of template do you follow? Um, block periodization, and if so, how do you progressively overload with high rep stuff? Um, so I follow my own template. I have created my own program based on um, different methods I've used in the past, such as Shiko. And it's similar to, you know, it's got some block periodization, I guess. Um, so I, I think I've explained this previous video, I do hypertrophy, strength, and then peaking. So it's got three kind of steps to it, and that's just how it rolls. Um, simple as S. How do you go about start of training cycle? Um, do you start with weights, which are easy and does not put a lot of effort, and then consistently increase without changing rep and scheme? Um, so, not exactly. So, a lot of the weights I choose um, on all of my workouts are a struggle. So, what I find mostly is that it's more mentally struggling um, for most people. You know, if something feels hard, most people want to give up. And you'll find that if you just try and push yourself, you're able to do it. Um, so, like... It wasn't long ago where I was just doing 495 for sets of 10 and that was the top of my set. Well I decided, well let's increase that by 2 reps and try to increase everything else that I do by 2 reps. So I've increased 495 to 12, yes it sucks, it kills me, 10's hard enough as it is, but if I want to grow I figure I gotta start somewhere. Finally hit 545 for 10 yesterday, usually I do it for 8 so I was able to get 2 reps more there. Um, here soon I'm going to start working with 585 and my hope is to hit it for 8s without a belt. So that's going to be a huge PR for me and that's kind of where I go. It's just basically try to add in a rep, um, try to get an extra set in, you know. If I'm looking to build or get better as, at the start of my program, that's all it's really about is just adding something in. It doesn't have to be a huge jump could be five pounds, it could be one rep, or it could just be one extra set at the end of the day, and I'd be happy with that. Um, and then as I go, as I get closer to a meter, closer to the point that I want to peak um, and do my very best, I'll start to increase the weights, uh, decrease the reps, and so on. So, um, I think that answers your question. Um, we be chilling 420. He saw my Black Ops 3 in the background video and asked if I play. I do play. play on Xbox One. Um, my gamer tag will be in the description. 
I've linked it before. If you want to add me, great. I'd love to get a chance to just hang out with you guys and just ch chat, whatever. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time to play games, so add me, and if I'm on, send me an invite. Be, I'm down to chill, so. Um, Eric Gang Strength PS. Jesse, what is it like being as strong as you are? I don't hear top fivers just talk about this, and uh, you probably don't hear people talk about it because, I mean, personally, there's not a lot to it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm strong. It's basically I have the, the capacity to do things other people can't, but in the normal day-to-day, -day, I'm just like any other person. I feel like anyone else should, um, with the exception of <laughs> my knees hurt and my back is usually sore. Something sore day to day. Um, so if I compared to myself to the average person, I'm probably just sore and then I guess have the capacity to maybe lift heavy things. <laughs> There's nothing too special about being a top power lifter in my opinion. Um, but I do really appreciate that I inspire others to try and, you know, do more, just work harder and get stronger. Um, with that in the back of my mind every day, knowing that I am helping someone out there, um, it's very rewarding in itself. So that's, that's I guess, what it's like to be a top power lifter for me. Um, nothing too special other than what I get from you guys. Um, Pete Edward asks, Would I rather fight a one horse sized duck? Or a hundred duck-sized horses. And I just fight a huge duck. It's easier target for me, you know. Hundred, hundred horse-sized ducks might be, might gang up on me, and you know, won't be good. Interesting question, though. Please leave your comment and let me know what you would do and why. Corey Lambrecht. I think that's how you say your name. You comment on my stuff, dude. I notice. Don't worry. Um, he's just curious why I prefer lifting at a gym versus the garage, and honestly, because the garage is so close to home, um, I lack the motivation. Like, if I'm out in the shop working out, I'm just thinking, man, I could go inside and watch TV, or there's food right there. At least when I'm at the gym, I'm in a setting where I don't really have the option to just walk out and go be comfortable, so... That's mostly why I prefer lifting at a gym. Like, if I don't have the time, it's great to have the option to work out at home, so. Um, let's see, Anton Drought. Yeah, so important question, and a topic I'd like to hit on today. Yes, how do you pick your working weight? And I know a lot of people probably struggle with this. Uh, so basically, it's it's something you gotta learn. You gotta learn how to know your body and know what when to ease up or when to push harder. A lot of people don't know that, and they don't have that um, knowledge about their body, I suppose. Um, so me, I've worked, you know, just working with different weights all the time. I'm able to know, okay, this feels heavy, so um, maybe I'll only hit a set of five here. Um, you know, if I hit that set of five, I'm like, oh man, I still feel like I hit another three. Hit another three. You know, it's, I don't think it's too much of a struggle or anything really complicated. It's really just, how do you feel? Um, you know, there's, there's going to be a point at which you should ease up and also a point where you should be able to push yourself mentally. A lot of people might say, oh, that was heavy, so I'm done. Um, but they don't realize how much more their body can do. So, I guess I would start out, you know, with a weight you think you can do for six or seven comfortably, and really try to push for 10. Once you hit that set of 10, then you mentally know you can do that, and you're gonna keep on striving for that. So that's how I would do it. Um, that's all the questions I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I'm running out of air time here, so my car's being full, so hopefully I don't run out. Um, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll link all at the video right after this. 
Um, let me know what you guys like and dislike. Please upvote it in comments. You guys did a wonderful job this week. Um, on my last q and I could easily go through and grab comments that were top upvotes. So, so yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please me, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be doing some deads and bench. Peace. It's not my first time here. Relax. Gotta keep my mind clear. Play my feet. I'm here to stay. I dig my heels into the fucking ground. Take a breath like it's my last. It's not my first time here. Fill the creases in my palms. It's not my first fucking time here. I tell him I can't do it, but I'm lying. I tell him I can't do it, but I'm just not fucking trying. Nobody told me that the end was the end. Tell that to yourself and tell it to a friend. And if that friend is a fucking friend, it'll slap you in the face and tell you to get your fucking mind straight.